hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how you can download intellij and then i'll show you how you can install it also at the end once installation will done then i'll show you how you can print hello world in kotlin so let's begin first of all we need to download intellij so we need to open a google in your browser and then simply type download intellij and on the first link just click it you'll see here two options one is uh, community so we are going with the community not with the ultimate ultimate is the paid version so we are simply going with the free version for our development so simply it will start uh, once you click on that download it will simply start downloading so once this download complete will simply uh, double click on it and then it will start installation and this whole process I am doing it on a MacBook I hope it's uh, it's the same process uh, for the installation will remain same in uh, Windows machine as well so it's downloaded now I'm simply double clicking on that and it is start installation And now we'll simply drag this IntelliJ idea in our application folder. Once that is done, then we'll call our finder and type IntelliJ. And you'll find that option and simply open it. So it will ask you for some permissions, just allow accept and next so it will open now now we can see here are a couple of options so we can change the theme if you want to like the light theme then you can change it from here if you want to go with the default then you can leave as it is and now simply click on new Here you can see a couple of options we need to maximize and then we'll need to select Kotlin and give the name of our project. And here is the JDK version. So here I want to remind you like when you need to have Java JDK or Java, Java runtime pre-install on your machine. From here you can change the path of your project where you want to store just simply click on next I'm not changing anything just simply next and it will create a project in your laptop now it is quite look and feel wise similar to the Android studio so here you will see one file has already been created and you can see there is a function already been there that is the main function and it inside it says the print is already there so print ln will simply print and you can see this play run button you can just click on it and it will print hello world and the command line there you go so there are two print statements so it print both so guys that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching